you already know what it is. It's your boy, J to the third letter. You ain't heard better. And yeah, I know I'm late. I don't even want to hear it. I'm late about it. But your boy, Caleb King, is here. Nickname, you already know it's Dimes, baby. Point guard, scoring. I'm about to go take you off the dribble. Yee yee. Pull ups on you. Birth 1993, you feel me? I'm a young cat. Let's get to the weight. Let's get to the size. 6'3, and I can't. Nah, bruh. About to put that mug up to 220. 220, nah, keep going. Yeah. 220, that's a solid size. 6'3. You can see, look at the uh, overall and everything. Y'all should know what it is, but it's my release and everything. I'll go down through the. Uh, Side inside and everything. Y'all can pause at any time and see what I started off with. But right now I'm like seven games into my season. Don't worry, I'ma catch y'all up with that. Check out these attributes. Y'all can check out that release, that crossover and all that, man. That's how I'm gonna be dubbing people so y'all know what it is. And let's get this game started, folks. Showcase, let's get it. All right, so before I say anything else, before I say anything else, let me tell y'all what happened like the gist of this game so I don't hear y'all going off on me in the comments. All right, so I played the rookie showcase a while back. Like I said, I'm on like my seventh game in the season, so it's just because I'm not playing a lot. I'm like waiting for the football season to end so I can get on 2K or whatever, but anyway, um. The first time I played, I said, you know, I'm about to just play it one time, you know, make it, like, realistic. All right, so I end up going, like, six pick to – it is six, something like that, wherever the Trailblazers are. I went exactly where the Trailblazers were at. And I kind of did the rookie showcase late on purpose because I wanted to see where all the other commentators were going before I just, you know, jumped in there. Why is this dude giving me room? Splash. So anyway, um – I went to the Trailblazers and I saw right uh, the day before that Ipa King Carter went there. So I made a new one and I ended up going, uh, I, I think, third. Yeah, wherever the Cavs are at. I went third to the Cavs the next time I did it. And QJB is there. So I was like, man, I got to I gotta go somewhere where it's just me. You know, I'm trying to have my own team. Like, you know how all the YouTube commentators got their own team. Another wide open shot, man. Come on, bro. We just got to report next time. So, um, so this game, this my, it was my uh, third game playing it. So, I really, you know, I'm not going to say I wasn't trying to play, but I wasn't trying to do what I was doing the other games. Like, the other games I was scoring like 30, 10. Like, I was like trying hard to get these stats. This game, you know, I was kind of more laid back with it. You know, I was taking shots when I was open and everything. I wasn't trying to, you know, ISO move, ah, jump shot, you know. So, yeah. Not saying that, you know, I played a bad game because I still think I played a good game. It's just I could have easily have gone, you know, top five picks again if I would have just, um, if I would have just played. You know what I'm saying. Um, but we win in 65, 64 to 45. But we putting a smack down on the stars. Now, scoring, they gave me, you know, I already know I'm rising in stock. You could pause it at any time and read that. But you already know um, they got my passing on five, man. Supposed to be a point guard. It better be that high. So right now, we just straight killing the stars. Now, the first game I played where I went to the Trailblazers, we lost to the Stars or whatever, and they, like, put the ball in my hands at the last second, and I screwed it up. Or I forgot what happened. I forgot. I shot, like, a desperate three or something, and it was, like, a nasty shot, and it went off. Second game, we just got smacked, and this game, we smacking them, so it's all gravy. As you see, they trying to make a little comeback over here. Yo. Now, I know y'all played this game. If y'all don't have this game, man, dang. But <laughs> to those who got it, all right. So in the rookie showcase, let me just tell you that basically the all stars out here. And as I dish it to Anthony Davis, boy, we got a little chemistry going on. So and we both played in the SEC. We straight. 
Um, Damian, look at this, bro. He leaving me open again, bro. This is embarrassing. So Damian Lillard got this floater out of the world, bro. He always, it don't matter where he at. I know he does floaters in real life, and I know a lot of people do. But he'll cross over, step back. He'll be at mid range, floater, or he'll do like a, he'll come up the court, beat you, do a floater at the three point line. Like what is this floater stuff for? As you see, I ended the game 19 and six. Now I try to just take Austin Rivers. I was like, nah, I don't go out like that. Just ending it. I make a dime to Harrison Barnes under the rim, and he don't even want to put it up. This dude trying to be Mr. Nice Guy. Make the shot, bruh. As you see, you know we won, baby. Me, Anthony Davis, Harrison Barnes, the killer squad right here. Let's see what the VC is. Hey, they need to do the little jersey updates, man. These jerseys kind of whack. I only got 43 VC, but it's straight, straight. Let's get into the interviews. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. We have three mid-round picks in the upcoming draft and are looking at you for one of those picks. We have a couple of questions to ask you before we move forward. Let's get going. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? I think that's really for you guys to decide. What I'd bring to your franchise is my basketball skills and a winning attitude. Anything beyond that? That's really for your team to sort out. I like to stay focused solely on the game. Okay, last question. How did you feel about your game tonight? What stood out to you? It wasn't the best game I've ever played, that's for sure. I'm often very critical of my play. I tend to focus on the things I did wrong and learn from those. I'm just not that guy that's going to gloat about the things that I did do well. My mom always told me that for every right in the world, there's a wrong. I'm trying to eliminate the wrongs from my game, you feel me? Okay, good stuff. We'll be in touch if we have any other questions. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We currently have the 15th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out of the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Yeah, I can really get behind a fan base that wants to win and will do anything to get it. We're very alike in that regard. I've always given 100% of myself to the game. It's not all about me. When I put on a jersey, I have a responsibility to not only myself, but also to my teammates and the fans of that team. I think Philly fans and I are on the same level. I think it'd be a mutual love. Interesting. Next question. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? Easy. I'd draft myself top three without giving it a second thought. I may not look like it right now, but I guarantee you people will look back on this draft and ask themselves, what were all those teams thinking when they passed on this guy? Guaranteed, baby. Thanks so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you're still on board when it's our turn to pick. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Denver Nuggets. We're picking 20th in the upcoming draft. We love what we saw in you and want to ask you some questions to see how well you'd fit in with us. Question number one. We feel like we already have good point guard depth on our roster with Ty Lawson leading the way, but it's our duty as an organization to explore every position for depth. How do you think you would mesh with Lawson in the backcourt? 
Playing alongside Ty would be great. I really think we'd be a force to be reckoned with once we learned each other's tendencies. Obviously, I feel like I'm one of the best guards in this draft class and can do some great things on the court. Together, Ty and I could take this team to the next level. Next question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? Oh, definitely. It's clear to me that you guys have a plan. Rebuilding is a means to an end, and you need players who are going to stick it out through both the good times and the bad. If you believe in me, I believe in you and what you're trying to do here. We, we both just want to win. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. All right, so we back, chilling, waiting for this NBA draft to start. All of us is in the back. Me and Anthony Davis just chatting it up over here. I see my mom over there to the right. But you could check out the strengths and weaknesses. Hey, but who who jocked my man trying to give me the awkward silence, yo? After he asked me that long-ass question, he's going to give me the, the, the cold shoulder, bro. But anyway, you could check out uh, all these other people, man. They got me projected at 16, I think. And, uh, yeah, y'all can check that out. Uh, like I said, pause it whenever you need to. And, uh, you know, I'm going I'm to skip. I'm going to let y'all see the little first part of the draft. And I'm going to skip to where I got selected. You know, trim the video up a little bit. Look at Maurice Harkless. What up, baby? Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players... Tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. From the University of North Carolina. With the 18th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select... Terrence Jones from the University of Kentucky. With the 19th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Andrew Nicholson from St. Bonaventure University. With the 20th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Denver Nuggets select the 19-year-old from the University of Georgia. Yes, sir. Your boy got drafted to the Nuggets. Hey, that's a straight team, though. We got Iggy now, Ty at the guard. And you heard me say me and Ty going to be great together. We really are, though. We got everybody on this team. Kenneth Fareed. We got a lot of young ballers out here. So let's check out the contract negotiation. City gave me 500 VC. Started a rookie year. See that? Let me check out the billboard real quick. Check out what they got Caleb King rocking on the billboard, though. Okay, he's got next. Go ahead, get your tickets, Nuggets.com. Hey, everybody go ahead and get your tickets, yo. I'll spot y'all live, though. See, they got Twitter and everything. Let me update my Twitter name real quick. Caleb King 4. Had to make it realistic. That's what they all have, all the stars. Put their real name and their number. Let's check out what they saying about me, yo. And I'm going to have another video up to you real quick. I promise you, yo. I know y'all don't believe in <laughs> This nigga don't upload in five months. It don't even matter. But uh, go ahead and check that out, yo. And video hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow. Look, 28,000 fans entering the league, yo. Get at me, baby. 